So if you're watching this, I'm assuming you've already seen the worldwide premiere trailer for Dying Light 2 and the gameplay trailer that was revealed during the Microsoft press conference at E3. This is a big deal for me since the first Dying Light, the original Dying Light, is my favorite game of all time, if not one of my favorite games of all time. It is up there with, I mean, Fallout 4, say what you will, I still love that game. It's got a lot of problems and it had a lot more potential which is one of the reasons I'm excited for Fallout 76 and potentially Elder Scrolls 6, Fallout 5, any of Bethesda's future projects, but that's besides the point. Dying Light 2 has the chance to improve on a very strong formula. Dying Light doesn't have like huge problems. The gameplay is very solid, how it focuses on melee with you still being able to use different ranged weapons. How you can modify the weapons, add elemental effects. The core of the game is very strong, and there's not any problems with the actual core. Everything around it, the actual, I mean, if you're going to go through further with the analogy, the basically the skin of the apple has some rotting points. There's some parts that could be improved on that we actually saw in the Dying Light 2 trailer. Uh, focus more on how you interact with the world, how there's different dialogue options, how you can side with factions. Those are two things that I didn't really think that Dying Light needed in its immediate help. Things that Dying Light really needed. But there's things that I'm certainly welcome to. There are things that will take the core will take the base of Dying Light and give it the potential to be a widespread mainstream game that hopefully is better than the original in most every way. The story looks better from the little they showed with the factions. The graphics are obviously better, it being a sequel. And one of the main things it set the original Dying Light, from apart from some games like Dead Island, Dead Island Riptide, which wasn't even made by Techland, and other zombie games like Dead Rising, whatever it would be, is the parkour system. One reason a lot of people love Dying Light in the first place is because of the parkour system, and how you can use that to chain together moves with combat, and it looks like they're actually going more head-on with that. You see people grabbing onto railings, jumping forward into a drop kick, flinging a human enemy off an edge, which that's another thing Dying Light focuses more on the zombies and not really the humans at all. We see the peacekeepers as they are called, those blue people in the trailers with the riot shields. Those seem to be like the new police, the new force to be reckoned with in Britain. It's in, it's in some European country, I'm pretty sure, but I definitely like that better than Haran, which I like the slums of Haran. Old Town is a nice contrast to the slums of Haran, but I still prefer the slums for, for how immersive and realistic it is. The following DLC, uh, it has a lot of supporters. A lot of people like the dune buggy, the wide open plains. Me personally, I don't think I really enjoy it as I would because it doesn't really focus on the parkour at all. There's really not things that you parkour across. It's mostly just the driving. Don't get me wrong, the driving is good and it handles really well, but it's mostly just, oh, you driving around running over zombies, driving around running into zombies just the same cycle over and over so I hope the city of Dying Light 2 wherever it will be whether it be a fictitious city whether it be a real-life city like Paris I don't really know what they could do with that but I hope it has decently high buildings some skyscrapers could be a pretty cool addition because there's really not many super high buildings in Dying Light and the ones that are decently taller and only in Old Town. Um, we see maybe like 
six story buildings but if we could get some really tall buildings all clumped up together in certain areas of the map that would be awesome I just want them to improve the park horses and we also saw wall running I, th I thought I caught wall running I could be wrong but we saw wall running during the Dying Light 2 gameplay trailer and that's something from Mirror's Edge which the first Dying Light obviously takes a lot of inspiration from games like Mirror's Edge when it comes to person parkour system but they're going even further with a wall running with the drop down executions you saw how the main protagonist I don't think he's been named yet but he jumps down on top of an enemy grabs the back of their head slams it into the ground absolutely brutal we have moving vehicles this time so those can play into your parkour system ch chaining together like different moves maybe this could be in the game but I didn't see anything of the sorts they could have a momentum system something like the more time you spend in one continuous string of parkour and running without stopping or being like, hit by enemies chaining together different attacks moves it could make you, make you stronger when you eventually do come across an enemy since you'll have more, more momentum or it could make you faster I think that could be something pretty cool I want to see more weapons on top of the weapons we've already seen like pipes um, the main weapon they showed off in the Dying Light 2 trailer were this hatchet and this pipe with metal at the end there's so many potential different ways Techland could go about a Dying Light sequel we've seen them already show off some RPG elements which could really make Dying Light good the main protagonist in the first Dying Light, Kyle Crane, is bland and most of the time I act like he doesn't even exist in the just um, exploring the world and doing like things besides the quest when I have to hear his voice I basically just put myself into the protagonist shoes I act like Kyle Crane doesn't even exist after already completing the main story or just ignoring the main story because it'd be pretty difficult. I basically treat it like an RPG because it kind of is an RPG to a certain extent with the skill tree and just it's a little bit difficult to actually define a RPG like many different things that seem very different can fit into the RPG genre but Dying Light 2 has showed a lot of seemingly RPG elements and I'm super excited whatever it goes for I'm there with them riding the hype train and Dying Light 2 although a lot of people didn't like the first one it has a huge fan base that still supports it with all the free DLC and I'm excited to see what Dying Light 2 does differently I hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye